from the William B. Harlan Memorial Library. And today we're going to read I Can Save the Earth. This book is written by Allison Inches, illustrated by Viviana Garofoli, and it's from Simon & Schuster Publishing. Max the little monster liked to fling candy wrappers. He left a trail of trash wherever he went. Wee, said Max. Max the little monster did not like to give away his old toys, even when he'd outgrew them. Mine, cried Max. Max the little monster liked to overflow the sink and the bathtub and clog the toilet. Hungry toilet, said Max. Max, the little monster, left the lights on and blared the TV, even when he wasn't in the room. No big whoop, said Max. Then one night, in the middle of his favorite program, something unexpected happened. What do you all think happened? The lights went out and the TV went off. There had been a blackout. Hey, shouted Max. Who turned out the lights? Max tripped over some old toys and stumbled outside to see what was wrong. Max looked around. He saw a full moon as it shone brightly on the colorful spring flowers. He heard the crickets chirp and an owl hoot. He even saw a shooting star as it twinkled across the night sky. Wow, said Max, this is so beautiful. When the lights came back on, Max the little monster felt something new. He began to notice things he hadn't noticed before. In the summer, Max the Little Monster went to the beach and noticed the pretty shells. He wiggled his toes in the sand. He watched the sun sparkle on the waves. He saw a dolphin leap out of the water. Max picked up an old bottle and an ice cream wrapper and threw them into a trash can. Pollution makes the beach look ugly, said Max, and pollution can hurt animals and plants. Do you all pick up trash whenever you find it and put it in the trash can? In autumn, Max the Little Monster noticed the colorful leaves, red, orange, and yellow. He jumped in leaf piles with his friends. Leaves are so pretty and more fun to play in than watching TV, cried Max. After they jumped in the leaves, Max the Little Monster didn't want to leave a mess. So he composted the leaves. Rotten leaves help the dirt grow happy flowers, said Max. In winter, Max the little monster noticed the wonder of snowflakes. Each delicate snowflake looked like a crystal jewel. He made a T-Rex, an igloo, and a snow angel. Why didn't I see this before, wondered Max. The earth is beautiful. Now, Max the little monster never wastes water. More water, more snowflakes, says Max. And he doesn't waste toilet paper. Happy monster, happy toilet, Happy Earth, says Max. Now Max the little monster never wastes electricity. He turns off lights except for the one he is using. He hardly ever watches TV, but when he does, he turns it off when the program's over. Let's play outside, said Max. Fresh air feels good on my fire. 
So Max is learning new things, isn't he? He's helping the earth. Now, Max the Little Monster never litters. He recycles any paper, aluminum cans, and plastic bottles he uses. Max also likes to eat fresh fruits instead of candy and drink water instead of soda pop. Tasty, says Max, and he always throws his trash away in the right bin. Max the Little Monster even has yard sales where he sells all his old toys. Max also trades his toys with his friends. Wow, said Max. Old toys I've never played with before are just as fun as new toys. So Max is learning all about recycling, isn't he? Now Max the Little Monster loves the earth. He reduces the amount of water and energy he uses. He finds ways to reuse as many things as he can and he recycles his trash. Sometimes he even hugs trees. Max the Little Monster is now called Max the Little Green Monster. You can be a little green monster too and help save the earth. I hope you enjoyed our book. And remember, you all can help save the earth too. You can uh, do the same things that Max does. You can turn off the electricity and not use so much water and throw away your trash and compost things and help save the earth. I hope you enjoyed our book. Remember, be safe and be kind. Thank you.